بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو پاکستان اسکول مسکتی لرننگ اینڈ ویل لرننگ فرام آر بک امیزنگ سائنس گریٹ فور ان ایم یو ٹیچر مس ندا ارتزا ویلکم ٹو دا سائنس کلاس اسٹوڈنٹس آر یو ریڈی ٹو لرن سم تھنگ نیو پلیز پلان از ٹو ریویو یونٹ نمبر فور لیون تھنگس اینڈ دیئر انوائرمنٹ آور ٹاپکس آر انوائرمنٹ بائی اسفیئر واٹر ایئر منرلس ٹیمپریچر ٹائپس آف اینیملس اینڈ انرجی فار لیون تھنگس اینڈ وچ فرسٹ ویل ڈو دا برین اسٹارمنگ فرام یونٹ نمبر تھری دین ریویو بک پیجز تھرٹی تھرٹی ون تھرٹی ٹو تھرٹی تھری تھرٹی فور تھرٹی فائیو اینڈ تھرٹی سکس آئی ول ایکسپلین سم امپورٹنٹ پارٹس آف دا لیسن دین ویل ریویو Question number four. After that, we'll do the today's work, which is question number five. It's on book page number 41. It's about that you have to write the three points for the plants that have adapted to their surroundings. After that, we'll do question number six. Show the correct one, notebook work, then recap, and then quiz. So let's get started, students. Don't forget to follow the rules. So students, brain storming. What is the fiber in our food used for? Fiber helps in digestion. Unit number four, living things in their environment. Students, as you all know that now from the lesson, what is an environment? Students, uh, everything on the earth is either living or non-living. The non-living part of the earth is made up of rocks, soil, water, air, and sunlight. The living part is made up of plants and animals and human beings as well. Living things depend on each other as well as non-living things for food, energy, support, and shelter. All those things that are around an organism and which affects its way of life are called its environment. So what we can say about the environment student that all the physical surroundings on earth are called the environment. People, animals, plants and all other living things rely on the non-living part of the environment to survive. Biosphere, as now we know that there are four layers of earth, lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and biosphere. The part of the earth where living things are found, are found is called biosphere. Which layer is called biosphere? Where living things are found. Water. Water is very important for the body. You know that students, three fourth of our body is made up of water. You know that water helps carry substances from one part of the body. If we are talking about for the earth, three fourth part of the earth, you can say that three quarter of the earth surface is covered with water. It it is contained in the oceans, ice caps, lakes, and rivers. Living things need water because three quarter of our body is made up of water, okay? So don't forget it that water is very important. We should drink at least six to eight glass of water. Minimum six to eight glass of water. Now, air. About one-fifth of the air is a gas called oxygen. Living things take oxygen out of the air when they breathe. Breathing helps to produce energy for the body. A very small amount of the air is carbon dioxide gas. It is added to the air by burning wood and coal and also by the breathing of animals. Plants use carbon dioxide to make their food light the very 
very important natural source is sun so the sun provides sunlight and energy for all living things plants use sunlight to make their own food animals eat plants and so get energy indirectly from the plants minerals soil contains many minerals which helps plants and animals to grow healthy and strong plants absorb mineral salts from the soil through their roots animals get minerals by eating plants temperature plants and animals need to live in a particular temperature if the surrounding become too hot or too cold cold they may die okay now types of animals as in this chapter we discuss about herbivores carnivores and omnivores some animals eat only plants only like horse zebra rabbit they eat only green plants so that the animals who eat only green plants or plants they are herbivores animals carnivore carnivores are some animals that eat meat and flesh of other animals those kind of animals are known as carnivores like lions tigers they have a special teeth and sharp claws that help them to grip and tear the flesh of other animals omnivores human beings and some animals or birds they eat both plants and animals they are called omnivores like bears hens and crows are the example of omnivores energy for living things all living things need energy they obtain their energy from food producers are what that produce energy that producing the food especially for the green plants they are called producers because they make their own food by using sunlight so the green plant that use a sunlight they, that process is called photosynthesis consumers those who are consuming the energy from the plants animals cannot make their own food they are called consumers they obtain energy from plants by eating them decomposers decomposers are small living things that eat everything from the waste and garbage to dead animals examples include worms mushrooms some insects and tiny bacteria food chain very important thing that is food chain food energy passes from plants to animals in the form of long chain called a food chain photosynthesis is a in green plants changes the sun energy to energy stored in food energy flows from sun to plants the producers and then consumers that 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 the plant eating animals to the flesh eating animals this energy flow forms a food chain so what we can say that the food energy passes from plants to animal in form of long chain called a food chain as you can see in this picture that the green plants passes the energy to the insects or any kind of a insect that is eating plant that insect eaten by one kind of a carnivores or ca that carnivores eaten by the another carnivores and that eaten by the another carnivores animal so here you can see in this food chain that is a green grass eaten by grasshopper eaten by a frog eaten by a snake eaten by eagle food web consumers often eat more than one kind of a food so several food chains are connected to form a food web as you can see in this picture that green grass 
eaten by several other animals or insects like flies grasshopper cricket then it is eaten by some other carnivores and that carnivores are cricket frog and bird and then eaten by eagle so that is the connection of different food chains that is not separate to each other adaptations in animals students adaptations in animals is you can say that all living thing grow and change when an animal or a plant changes to fit its surrounding we say it has adapted to its surrounding like hummingbird sipping nectar by using beak pelican have a pouch with the large beak they are just store the fishes a giant ant eater uses it its strong claws to open the nest of ants and termites while tiger has strong legs to run after other animals now how they are surviving some kind of animals that are in uh, living in the cold places like polar bears seals and whales have thick fur on their bodies they have thick layer of fat under their skins which also keep them warm why animals that live in very hot places like camels lizards and snakes rest during the day and look for food at night they can store water in their bodies for a long time they can close their nostrils to keep out sand adaptations in plants plants that grow grow in very cold places have needle like leaves they may see inside the cone like pine trees plants that grow in very hot places have thick fleshy stems which can store water their leaves are very tiny they have very deep roots they have hard waxy coats and thorns for protections like cactus so uh, pine trees have a needle like leaves and cactus they are growing in deserts so they have thick fleshy stems now we are review unit number 4 it is question number 4 from unit number 4 living things and their environment today is august 25 day is wetness day the we have the names of some insects plants animals birds and we have to interconnect them to form a food chain as we all know that all the chains started from the green plants so i am taking green grass eaten by grasshopper eaten by frog eaten by snake eaten by hawk that is a simple food chain you can make your own food chain by using any other green plant any insects you can take or you can take any kind of other animals which can eat that insect like a bird because birds eat insects also and that eaten by any other animals or eaten by hawk you can make your own food chain by using this this all name you can see now for the food web as you can see that food web is not simple it is interconnected because uh, several other animals eat in different different kind of a food so first i will make the simple food chain and then interconnected them first i make the simple food chain that i already make for the food chain and then you know that green grass is also eaten by a rabbit is also eaten by some kind of other insect like caterpillar caterpillar eaten by any bird and bird also eat the grasshopper and they also eat the grains of the plants so they are also eaten the seeds of the plants they are also eating the uh, uh, fruits of the plants so they are also eat the plants so that is bird is also eat plants also they also eat the grasshopper then bird is eaten by fox rabbit is also eaten by fox bird small birds eaten by the hawk or rabbit is also eaten by hawk and fox is also eaten by hawk so that was the food where we already read or learned before
Now coming to the today's work. Student, today's work is all about question number five and six. First, we'll do question number five, which is on your book, page number 41, but it is a notebook work. So you have to write this work in a notebook. What you have to write, you have to describe three ways in which plants have adapted to their surroundings. So that three ways are plants that grow in cold places have thin needle-like leaves. Plants that grow in hot places have thick fleshy stems that can store water. And the part C that some plants have a sticky juice or strong smell so that animals may not eat them. So these are the three ways in which plants have adapted to their surroundings. Now we are moving on to question number six. Question number six is choose the correct option. The part of the earth where living things are found is called A, hemisphere, B, atmosphere, C, biosphere. Yes, biosphere is the correct answer that biosphere is the that part of the earth where living things are found three fourths of the earth surface is covered with water one fifth of the air is a gas called oxygen the sun provides energy to all living things several food chains are interconnected to form a food web so that will be all for today. Now it's a trivia time. Plants that grow in very hot places have dash stems. Yes, plants that grow in very hot places have thick, fleshy stems. That will be all for today. Students, don't forget to wash your hands after using the gadget. Thank you, everyone. Have a very nice and blessed day. Allah Hafiz.